It's been a while since I've sat down and talked to you guys without working, but I have something a little different to share for this video, and it is not my normal farm work content, and it's something I wish I didn't have to share with you guys, but it's something that needs to be talked about, and it's something that we as an industry and as humans need to be better about talking about. Um, and this is really hard and it's really heavy. On the 5th of March, my little brother Sam committed suicide. Sam and I were 18 months apart and he was 21. In my opinion, that's way too young. I could be a little biased though. Because <laughs> I loved him and I still do. And I know he still loves me too. But he was one of the hardest workers I know. He was so kind. He was goofy. He was always smiling. I mean, not always, but he was always putting a laugh on someone's face. He took the time to know people, really sit down and get to know them. When I think of Sam, I think of someone that truly tried to live as Christ lived. And I know that he is not lost, and I know that our Heavenly Father has a plan. But humans and our agency do get in the way of that plan. For as kind as Sam was, he was also hurt by life experiences and some people that were involved in his life and some things hurt so deep that they stick with you for a long time and they make it hard for you to function and that's what trauma does to our brains and he had a lot of it and that's hard to think about i'm sharing this with you because i know that it is part of human nature to struggle It is part of life to have challenges and to have hard times and to be in tough spots because that's what helps us grow as much as it sucks. But sometimes we do not see a way out of those hard times and challenges and sometimes it gets to be too much. And that's when the discussion on mental health and depression and anxiety come in. And I know that nothing that I do or say will ever bring my brother back. But if it helps someone else's brother or sister or mom or dad or family member or close friend want to stick around through their challenging times and get some help. And that makes this struggle worth it because I would never wish this upon anybody and I know that there are so many others that have gone through this exact same thing. And I wish and I pray that if you are struggling that you know that you're loved and that Heavenly Father loves you and knows you. And you were not sent here to be miserable you were sent here to have joy. And if you need help finding that joy, there are so many people that are willing to help you. And I hope and pray that you are able to find the help that you need, whether that's through therapy, through a friend, through someone that you trust, because you need to stick around and your life is worth living, even if it doesn't feel like it or if it hasn't felt like it for years, or if you feel like the hard times just keep getting harder. And if you feel like you're in that spot, I'm sorry. And I wish that there was more that I could say or do than just saying I'm sorry. And I know that we have suicide hotlines and resources and counselors. 
but sometimes calling those numbers feels weak and I can promise you it's not. <sighs> because it's better than printing out one of these. <sighs> so, if you are down, if you feel like the world is too dark, if you feel like it'd be better without you here, <laughs> Please do not believe yourself. Please call someone. Because you are loved and you are important. And your life is worth living. And I know I've already said that. But your life is worth living. So like I said. If you are struggling, please reach out. Please tell yourself and remind yourself that you are loved. And please love yourself enough to stay and know that your life has worth and value and that God is there and he has always been there. He loves you and he is looking out for you and he wants you on his team down here. With that, um, I'm going to miss my brother forever. But I know he's in a better place now. No matter what anyone else believes, I know that he's up there with God. Serving others just like he always did down here. And making sure that everyone always has a smile on their face. And I'm so grateful for the signs that I've been given that he's still with me. I'm grateful for the presence of him that I've felt. When I was driving to his funeral, I could just feel it. I was like, he's just right here. And I am so grateful because that is a little tender mercy that I get to carry with me. So in memory and in honor of Sam, I'll show you guys some videos and some fun times we had together. And I'll be sharing more stories probably about him just randomly throughout my content. And I know that I'm definitely going to be taking a bigger stand on my faith and mental health going forward. Um, this is mostly the reason why, but it's also just because it's important and because humans need humans and connection is valuable and life-saving. So I hope that you guys know you're loved and I hope you hug your loved ones tight and go check in on someone, go give someone a call. If you're, if you're feeling nudged to go call someone, go call someone, check in on them. Go to their house, go check in on them. Humans need humans. So with that, here is some great memories I have with my little brother that I will hang on to forever. It's uh, the 7th of August. It's a day. It is a that day. That begins, I don't know, it's a day of the month of a year. That's that's a, a whole harvest mood. But my brother Sam is coming to ride with me and we're about to hit a washout. <laughs> oh shit. No we're not. Are you family friendly? <laughs> yes. Well, that's kind of anyway, my brother came to ride with me. Sam came to ride with me. So I'll give him the camera. Tell him what you think about the grain cart. What, what Don't I... cover it with your finger. Well, there you go. I have big fingers. Well, grain cart is fun. Um, oh, there's a washout. Wait, what all is family friendly on this app? Just don't say bad words. Don't say bad words, but I can I talk about uh, things bouncing? Do not say that. Oh, please, I want to. Grain cart's good. Um, Emma's a slow driver. <laughs> we almost died six times today. Okay, that's about all I have to say that's PG at this point. <laughs> How would you write your experience? I'd, I'd, um, well, I'd give you 10 overall experience I'm gonna take two away because my butt hurts <laughs> and then oh that's a pretty good deal I'd give you about a nine and a half because you hit my Capri Sun on my hand oh perfect yes he was drinking the beloved juice of the Capri Suns I was drinking the juices anyway. <laughs> anyways fun meal I will probably go drop him off soon, but no. No? No. no. Because it's like viscousy water. Viscousy. <laughs>
Yeah. <laughs> like there's um an acid that we played with in Colorado that makes water wet. That's what this tastes like. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Come on, you got it. I got you. All right. <laughs> Come on. One step. Don't worry about the door. It's okay. Oh, thank you. What? <laughs> Boys and girls, you know what time of the day it is. Dude, Just kind of freaking send it. We're gonna drive through town. Grab your strap, Mafia. Did you do that too? Yeah, like calves. How do you, how do calves breastfeed? <laughs> what is that? Is that Sammy? Sam! Ah! <laughs> Sam. With a flower sack cape tied all around his neck He climbed up on the garage He's figuring what the heck Screwed his courage up so tight That the whole thing come unwound He got a running start And bless his heart He headed for the ground Well he's one of those who knows That life is just a leap of faith Spread your arms and hold your breath And always trust your cape Now he's all grown up with a flower sack cape Tied all around his dreams And he's full of piss and vinegar Busting at the seams So he licked his finger And checked the wind It's gonna be do or die He wasn't scared of nothing Boy, he's pretty sure He could fly Well, he's one of those Who knows that life Is just a leap of faith Spread your arms And hold your breath And always trust your cape. 